This right here is a Pokewalker. It's a device made for Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. This game right here, a very expensive Pokemon game. Honestly, the resale value for this game has went up so much that I don't even want to buy it. Luckily, I got a good deal on this game, but they're like $100 for the cartridge only. It's getting really insane. I think if you actually want to get the Pokewalker in 2024, it's like 60 to 70 USD. It's getting crazy. But today, I'm going to be testing something out with it. This Pokewalker, it's the original one I had as a kid. You know, you can see these little scratches and bumps on it. Yesterday, I booted it up for the first time with one of these new replacement batteries and it still worked and there's a pokemon on here too and we're gonna test something out you see this right here is an authentic real copy of pokemon soul silver but in my other hand this is a fake copy unless if you're colorblind you can probably tell one of the differences right away the color of the cartridge it's definitely more obvious if i flip over the cartridge i'm not sure what that little blue mark is for but anyway this is a great cartridge it's not real for heart gold and soul silver today i'll be testing out multiple things first does a pokewalker work with a fake copy of heart gold and soul silver after that i'll be testing out does a pokewalker work with a rom hack of heart gold and soul silver so a completely different game entirely will it work before we get started please subscribe to the channel i'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers in the next like a month or so i think we can do it but first i have to boot up soul silver because i have a pokemon on here that has not been touched or seen in over a decade i have no idea how long it's been but i'm pretty sure i could transfer it back to soul silver and see the date that i originally caught the pokemon so let's do that okay soul silver version i got the game right here and i did boot up the pokewalker and there is a connect button right here it's so hard to see though connect to pokewalker that's got to be the right button i mean what else would it be welcome uh from here you can select a pokemon from your pc and send it to the pokewalker what I mean, I knew you can do that, but is there a way to send it back? Because I really hope so. I guess I'll send away my level one Togepi that I hashed. I really hope I can send this Pokemon back though. The DS will connect to the Pokewalker in a place where it's okay. Point it at the DS card and press the button and wait five seconds. Okay, that's kind of complicated. I got my Wooper right here. I'm sure it is very hard to see. And I'm going to press the connect button, which is uh right here. And then point it at the DS and wait five seconds. No trainer found. Cool. Hold on. What does that say? Cannot complete this connection what i mean that's better than saying no trainer found i guess the pokewalker has already been registered okay that's why it wasn't working i just did some research and yeah this pokemon this whooper i apparently cannot get back ever because of this i'm actually gonna have to wipe this clean to use it again so say goodbye to whooper everyone now i got my pokewalker reset and in the state of permanently connecting and searching for a ds and i already know it's gonna work on the official copy so i might as well oops that's the wrong one might as well try the fake copy now i really don't like how it works where that Wooper, for example, was locked to a specific save file, so now I can just never get it back. Right here, it just says Pokemon Soul Silver like normal. You can't look right here and actually tell that it's a fake copy. Even right here, like on these main menus, there would be no way to actually tell. You'd have to be in game to ever notice something. Yeah, I don't have one Pokemon in a PC box, so I'm gonna go play for a bit and then I'll be back. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I heavily underestimated how long it would take to get to this point. It's been around a half hour. This is probably my least professional video ever. It's just super weird. I can't believe with a Pokewalker, you could only send the pokemon back if it's on the same save file it's kind of dumb but i'm almost out of this rival battle and then i think soon after i'll be given the pokeballs and we can finally do a test Okay, my playtime went from 4 minutes to 43, so that took me 39 minutes. I got the Pokewalker right here searching, and let's go down to connect to Pokewalker. Before I do that though, just so you guys know, this is the fake copy, and the real one is in my hand right here, so this is the fake that I'm playing. Welcome, from here you can select a Pokemon from your PC box. Yeah, it's all the same info as normal, nothing looks out of the ordinary so far. If I had to guess, I'd say this probably will work, but I don't know for sure. Let's test it out. Okay, now it's searching, so I have to take the Pokewalker, put it out here. It's kind of out of frame, and just point it at the D cartridge slot i don't really know how close this has to be it tried connecting right away with the official copy and with this one nothing's really happening i know you're meant to keep it still but nothing's happening so i'm moving it to you know a lot of different ranges and it's not finding anything i don't know what to do i guess i'll restart the connection and get back into the menu but this is kind of weird i expected it to work with no issues at all and it doesn't seem to be working two seconds later so i was not successful with using the fake copy of soul silver and of course it does work with the real ones and i just did some research it was pretty interesting earlier i mentioned how that's a gray cartridge and this one's black and that actually has to do with the ir sensor which is something that connects to the pokewalker i saw a thread on reddit about how 99.9 percent .9 of fake cartridges like this will never have an ir sensor built into it which makes it compatible with the pokewalker i know pokemon black and white as well as black and white 2 also have black cartridges i'm not sure if that's because of the c gear or another internet feature i'm not sure what i do know though is that it looks like you need to have a real authentic copy 
or a fake that does have an IR sensor built into the cartridge to use it with a Pokewalker. I have a feeling that might make it so my next test is not gonna work, but you never know for sure. Let's try it out. Okay, I now have a ROM hack loaded up, Pokemon Storm Silver, and the authentic cartridge right here, and the fake, so you know I'm not on one of these right now. I also had to hop on my new 2DS XL because I couldn't do this on a DS Lite, there's just no way I could really run this game. In a way, I don't have any high hopes for this because there's not an actual cartridge, this is just kind of emulated, but if you think about it, maybe the IR sensor is built into the 2DS, you never know. I probably could find that out if I did some more research, but let's just give it a try. The Nintendo DS will connect to the Pokewalker, okay, it's almost ready, I'm not too hopeful at all but i really do hope this works let's just try to get it connecting right here it says wait five seconds there's been no results and it's probably been 20 30 seconds now what if i just hold it super close maybe it's a distance thing it does show on the screen up here you can have it like i don't know a few inches away this is like an inch away but it's still not working i'll exit out and try again but i really don't think this works unless if you have an authentic cartridge which kind of does suck but it makes sense i know this isn't revolutionary news or anything but i just like testing these kind of things out for you guys just in case people look up something like this on youtube and they want the answer looks like no results it's been around 30 seconds i'm trying to transfer over this goldine nothing's working from any distance unfortunately honestly my big takeaway from this i don't really care that the pokewalker doesn't work with fake games i'm just surprised that you can't send the pokemon back i'm sure a lot of people have known this for years and years but i really just had no idea it's kind of dumb because i wanted to check on that old booper and see when i caught it if you were able to use the pokewalker over the internet it would definitely work there's no reason why it wouldn't but because of this ir sensor situation it does not work if you enjoyed then let me know other tests i should do with any pokemon game it could be from gen 1 gen 9 i don't really care i'll do any video for you guys and subscribe i'm trying to hit 10k see you guys